What's up, guys? Jay? More than after kill? And uh, as you can already see from the title, today is my birthday. <laughs> 33 years ago, this very day, my mother squeezed me out of her ham wallet and into this world. Believe it or not, th this is actually the first time that I'm sharing this information. Not just on my channel either, but... In, in general, some of my oldest friends to this day still don't know what day my birthday is. It's just, it's, it's information that I've kept to myself over the years. It's weird, right? You know, a, a lot of people over the years is like, dude, why the fuck don't you celebrate your birthday, you know? Like, I've, I've met a ton of people who would say shit like, Oh, I don't celebrate holidays. I hate my birthday. But they do. They celebrate holidays. They they love the birthday. They're just looking for the attention of, Oh, my God. And, oh, woe is me. Right? <laughs> Myself? No, I, I, I just never mentioned it. It's just not information I found pertinent to any of my friendship relationships. And today is no different, right? You know, my girlfriend's at work. I'm sitting here making a vision. If, if it wasn't for me trying to actively change myself, I, I wouldn't be making this vision at all. Like, seriously, this is a huge step for me in life in actually changing myself into the person that I, I, I'd i like to be. You know, I'm gonna leave some of my bitterness from the past to behind but i mean if, if you look at it my, my channel's been around for six years on youtube and this is the first time that i've ever mentioned it to you guys it's never really been a big deal to me i, I never really put you know significance on special days throughout the year you know, not just my birthday but holidays in general you know but I don't buy other people that I know birthday gifts. I, I don't really see the point of giving birthday gifts to somebody. It's like, oh, I buy you a gift, then a few months later, you're going to buy me a gift. Why, why, why don't we just save our money and buy each other something that we both would enjoy instead of just guessing what the other person wants, right? <laughs> I mean, I've been with my girlfriend for... Has it been nine years now? God damn. Nine years I've been with my girlfriend, and I still, to this day, haven't bought her a birthday, Christmas, or Valentine's Day. Actually, actually, I'm sorry, I take that back. Our first Valentine's Day together, I, I did buy her a gift, but uh, that, that didn't last. Maybe, maybe I'll tell you guys this story on another video, because that shit is fucking hilarious. But that doesn't mean that I don't love my girlfriend, right? I just, I, I don't really get the significance behind birthdays to me, you know? I, I'd rather be the type of guy that buys my girlfriend's gifts randomly throughout the year just, just because I love her, right? Rather than just saying, oh, here's a few pre-designated days throughout the year that I'm gonna give you a gift as per the societal norms. <laughs> but like I said, you know, I, I, I realize that that is a flaw within myself, and I'm I'm trying to change that. Not really change, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to evolve. Oh my god, he's evolving. <laughs> Without even using a moonstone, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm trying to expand myself and maybe encompass some of the more traditional things in my life. Especially, you know, as I get older, I, I see other people doing things for their birthdays and holidays and getting together with their families and you know, it, it just it seems like you know maybe I, I've been missing out on a little bit in life because of it like I, I can think back to when I was a kid and my grandma was still alive you know she was like the glue of my family right she didn't give a fuck what you did who you are what you said when it, when it was time for a holiday gathering at her house, she wasn't having any of that shit. You leave your beefs at the door, you come to her house, you smash out some badass pierogies, and you leave with a bag full of fruit by the fucking foot. 
every fucking time it was always a huge bag of fruit snacks and <laughs> fruit by the fucking foot. And it was cool, right? Because I, I got to chill with all my cousins and my cool ass uncles and, you know, for a few hours I, I'd forget that I had to go home with a brother who I didn't really like too much. And ride home in a mother who I didn't really like too much. <laughs> it was probably already drunker than fuck, swerving on the road, ready to kick our asses when we got home because she wasn't happy with her own life. Because she had to go home with a handful of kids instead of going out drinking with her friends like she wanted to. You know, my mom was a younger mother. She had my brother at 17, me at 19, 20 years old. So dragging around a couple kids on the holidays when she just wants to go out and get fucked up. It, it was a burden to her. We were her burden in life. I was my mother's cross to bear, especially since, you know, once I came along, my dad fucking hit the Splitsville. So she kind of looked at me as the, the, the kid that fucked it all up for her, you know? <laughs> and I, I think that's probably where my hatred for my birthday actually stems from. I mean, I, I have a summer birthday, which, for those of you guys out there don't understand the implications of that, allow me to explain. Having a summer birthday fucking sucks! Especially as a kid. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's too hot outside to do shit. Especially in New Jersey during August. The fucking humidity is just absolutely terrible. All your friends from school are either on vacation or they're with their families doing shit. So I didn't get to go to school and hand out invitations to have all my friends come over for my birthday party. So basically, my birthday parties growing up was my mother inviting her friends over and just getting drunk as fuck. Now, I, I wouldn't have had a problem with that growing up if she was a cool or funny drunk. But she wasn't. She was just mean and bitter. She kicked our asses. <laughs> so it's was like, oh look, she's on her fifth or sixth beer. Fuck. Here we go again. <laughs> should, I, should I start kicking my own ass now? Or should, should I wait for you? Oh, today, today is curtain rod ass kicking day. Special day, yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but, you know, at least... Uh, when we would have the birthdays, you know, there'd be a grill going, or some decent food at least, or some good music, because my mom's friends were all kind of young, so they were out there listening to, like, Metallica and Guns N' Roses, and, you know, we had that going for us, which is nice. Uh, my cousins, like I said, my cousins were, like, my best friends growing up, and they would come over and we'd fuck around and hang out, maybe play some video games, or, you know, throw the fucking football around outside, go out back and hit the ball around with the baseball bat, you know, but... I, I, I would just put up with my mother's stupid quote-unquote birthday parties because fuck it, you know, my, my best friends of a cousins, they got to come over and we hung out, which like I said, we, we only saw each other like a few times a month, so it was like a treat when they would come over and we'd hang out and have a good time. Uh, I got to eat some good-ass Carvel cake, the ice cream cake with the little crunchies in them. Oh, god damn! I might go out and get me some fucking cake tonight, motherfucker. I might get me some. I deserve cake. God damn it. I deserve some fucking cake in life. And usually I, I'd get like a new video game. And it, it wasn't until my grandma died that I, I realized that the cake and the game was actually coming from her. Because once she died, all that shit stopped. While my mother was using what little money that we had in life on drinks for her and her friends. You know, after my grandma died, so did the presents. They just stopped. And my mother was like, you're 12 years old. You're too old for gifts. I I, I, I knew deep down inside that my, my grandma was giving me the gifts. I called her coming over one time when I was a kid, you know, delivering some of the presents that were gonna get put underneath the Christmas tree. So I, I, I wasn't stupid, right? I put two and two together, but you know, I was like, fuck that, man. I'll be goddamn if I'm gonna sit by and let you use me as an excuse to throw a party. I said, fuck you, bitch. No birthday, no gifts. 
that you don't get an excuse to have a fucking party. <laughs> that's that's the last time I celebrated my birthday. I mean, from the time I was like 12 to 22, I I would at least acknowledge my birthday, right? It's, but I, I wouldn't actually celebrate it. Maybe I would use it as an excuse to get extra fucked up with my friends, but I mean, looking back, <laughs> we didn't even need an excuse. We, we used to just get ripped on a daily fucking basis anyway, so that shit wasn't bringing anything new to the goddamn table for sure. <laughs> but I, 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 think, I think the last time I formally acknowledged my birthday, like I sat down and said, today is my birthday. Probably back when I, I moved to California, my, my first birthday that rolled around when I was in Cali. I remember I was uh, working at a tire shop. I sat on a stack of tires by myself in the corner of the shop. I had a little cupcake, a little hostess one, you know, the, the brown ones with a little swirly icing across the top. And I, I stuck a single candle in it. I lit it and I was just sitting there looking at it. And I, I thought to myself, it's like, What's the point? No one out here knows you, right? They, they don't know what your birthday is. And you're, you're here to leave everything in the past behind you to move on from life. So move the fuck on, man. Let it go. And I, I, I did. And I haven't celebrated or acknowledged my birthday since. And uh, e even my fiance, who I was with in California... She didn't know when my birthday was. Like, I, I never told her because it, it just it stopped being important to me. And looking back, you know, I, I kind of feel bad about that because uh, those few birthdays that we did spend together that she didn't know which was my birthday. Well, she probably knew what my date was. She probably snuck a look in my wallet and my license. But you know, she she respected the fact that I didn't want to celebrate my birthday. That it it had a lot of bad memories attached to it. And, you know, she, she respected the fact that I didn't want to celebrate, but, you know, looking back, those could have been a few extra special days or extra special memories to look back on that, that I could have had with her. And e even though, you know, to me, every day was special with her, I feel like, I feel like maybe I robbed her of the opportunity to experience that and share that with me together you know and I, I I guess now that I'm getting older and I'm growing a little bit more and I, I I feel like I don't want my current girlfriend to feel the same way in case if anything happens to me or you know god forbid anything happens to her I, I don't want her to look back and say you know man those could have been days that we could have had together so I'm I'm trying to work my way back a little by little and to celebrate not just my birthday but maybe her birthday possibly I've, I've been with her for nine years and i still haven't gone over to any of her family's fa functions like any birthdays graduation parties no i haven't even showed up for any of the christmases or easters and, and i was thinking you know maybe maybe it's time that i put the past behind me i move on and i actually enjoy these days and then in case if anything happens in the future you know I, I know that I did what I could to try to make a few extra special memories in my life right so today is my birthday I am 33 years old and my mother ruined birthdays for me 20 years ago but thankfully now she's dead and this is the first birthday that I get to enjoy knowing that she can't possibly ruined my day in any way shape form or fashion and this is the first time i'm sharing this information in my adult life and i'm sharing it with uh, possibly i, I know 300,000 people don't watch my channel on a daily basis but sharing it with a large amount of people i've never met before and that is uh, may may seem stupid to you but it's a it's a huge step for me in life. So I want to thank you guys for all the love and all the support that you guys have given me to allow me to not just grow as a channel, 
but to grow as a person in life. And I'm, I'm glad to be sharing this journey with you guys. And I'm, I'm glad you guys get to look back at my channel and see like, oh man, you know, he went from a bitter young guy to a well-adjusted adult. And I, I would like, I would like that to be the legacy that I've left over my time on YouTube in the future. Like, maybe even like, if I'm not doing YouTube 20 years down the road, but somebody watches this and they're like, oh man, you know, I've, I've watched this guy grow into an actual well-adjusted adult instead of being the the crazy motherfucker that we all know him for. <laughs> so, my name is Jay, more than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos. But yes, today is my birthday. That's the first time I've ever said that on the internet to anyone ever in my life. Thank you for being here and enjoying this walk through this crazy little road called life. <laughs> so, my name's Jay. What after kill? Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.